8 is our first of two public hearing items. Our first is REZ 2024-01. This is the Gresham event venue. It would be located at 8415 Old Valdosta Road. It is currently EA and the request is for a PDR and this involves 10.3 acres and we'll have a well in the Mr. Bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Commissioners. I state this is a request for the uh, <clears throat> subject uh, property to be used for an event uh, facility or a club and lodge with the ability to accommodate some overnight guests. Um, again, property is currently zoned EA. It's also in the agricultural character area, um, in which case PDR is the only allowable uh, zoning that would accommodate uh, this type of venue. The only wetlands on this particular piece of the property are the uh, pond you currently see there. Here's a half mile radius of where staff sent out notifications uh, above and beyond the required adjoining property owners. The applicant does own approximately 1,200 acres in this area, much of which uh, is to the west. So most notifications went out to the north and east. And again, here's the 10.4 acres in its totality. Most of it, you see the long driveway there. Uh, the bulk of the 10.4 acres is the event facility itself, featuring the pond. Here is the overall, and I'll get in a little bit closer. There's only two existing structures here, one being the main lodge and the other the accessory building noted on the left-hand side of your screen. The applicant has proposed a couple future buildings. You see some of their square footages down in the bottom right-hand corner. And again, this is just to give them options. These things have not been developed yet, and there is no specific timeline for them to be developed. The applicant just wanted to give themselves future options um, should they decide to expand. This is an aerial of the property from approximately last year, built up the house and that accessory building in the left-hand corner. And then as we drive onto the property, you see it as it currently stands as of a couple weeks ago. This is close up of the facility. And then panning around to the left, right behind that uh, water pump would be a potential location of that future barn building. And again, the uh, pond facing to the south. Spinning back around, we'll take a look at the house itself. And then coming around the building, looking towards the northeast, towards the residences and the intersection of Old Valdosta and Salem Church Road. You'll note here on the two images, it's approximately 1,500 feet from the house to the nearest neighboring properties. This is at the intersection you see um, right where the planted pines and the natural growth occur. And once again, this is the proposed site plan with the square footages. And staff uh, right, is recommending the following conditions that the property be used uh, for use as permitted in the EA zoning and a club lodge meeting or event facility with overnight accommodations where the operation of the facility is limited to meetings, retreats, celebrations, and weddings for groups no larger than the fire code allows for the proposed buildings and area. Outdoor performances by bands or ensembles that are accessory to a meeting, retreat, celebration, or wedding shall be allowed. Unless otherwise noted on the site plan, the use of the property shall be subject to all standards applicable to properties in EA. The operation of the event facility shall adhere to the Lowndes County Noise Ordinance, and exterior lighting shall be shielded to avoid direct illumination of the adjacent properties. The Planning Commission, there was considerable uh, discussion amongst the Planning Commission members and members of the community regarding its use and adherence to the Noise Ordinance. Uh, ultimately though, recommend denial five to three. Any questions for Mr. Dillard? So, the, regarding the ban, no ways, ordinance, all of that stuff, we've had the conversation with the, with the owners, and they're aware that we've had some issues in the past. So, when we talk about this future barn building, I'm assuming that's where they're going to have the, the receptions and band and all that. I, I'm just making that assumption. But do they, do they understand? How critical it is not to be a nuisance to the neighbors, especially when it comes to this future barn building. I mean, yeah, I hate to approve this. What I'm getting to is, I mean, I'll hate to see this be approved and then, you know, and then them set up in this future barn and, and the situation change and then not be allowed to actually execute their plan. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, so they've been made aware and they've they talked about the opportunity to utilize uh, tents in the, in, uh, in the meantime. Again, you can rent a tent now and accommodate anywhere from 100 to 300 guests under that tent or fire code. Uh, but there isn't a specific 
uh, they have been made aware of the noise ordinance and that being the biggest concern we've heard from other event venues uh, throughout the county. Okay, I have a question just for my own interest. Um, and Mr. Elliott might want to chime in on this as well. As far as the conditions, you've listed conditions there that was recommended. Would it be possible in a venue situation such as this that any of the band music electronically or by instrument be contained within the building, within the structure? Is that a condition that possibly could be applied? It, it certainly could be added to the, to the conditions. Uh, I believe the enforcement of it would then fall upon code enforcement, noting that it would be there. But I believe it could be applied. Yes, sir. In the meantime, I don't know how you would regulate just based on the existing lodge unless all music be inside the existing lodge until a future building is built at some point. Well, I think, I think from our experience, most of our issues with these venues have been from outside uh, music, whether it's the band or whether it's, uh, you know, uh, electronically uh, provided music. It, that's where the complaints really come from. Because in some areas it just keeps going and going and going, especially across the water. Yeah. The, uh, mm -hmm. So I just had just interested with whether or not that would be something that we could possibly, if we move forward, because apparently, if by hearing what was, was the comments that were made as well at the uh, planning commission, is that most of the venues that are currently operating, they're booked out like a year in advance at this point. So you have to say, if, is there a need or not? I, you know, so I think that's one thing that if we move in that direction, that that's something that we might want to consider is to take it an extra step to correct some of this noise. We have a noise ordinance at the same time, but I think we can go a long way with some of these things and it would be possible to, to say that any of the music would have to be set up indoors. That is certainly a, a possible condition. Absolutely, I don't know if we get just a thought. Can you back up to the to the pictures of the existing lodge and describe those again? Please? Yes, sir. Again, this is from the uh, left hand side of the lodge. This is the main lodge focusing south. Again, out across that ponds. And again, right behind those trees is where the proposed event venue. Future barn was shown on the site plan there. And again, this is the main building itself, as you noted, about 3,600 square feet. And then this is coming up on the drive with that existing accessory shed. Did they indicated would they have any? I mean, right now, if, if everybody's booked up as they're saying, and, and assuming that, that, that they don't add the future barn building right now. Up. And you know, would they, would they be like using that garage carport area as a bandstand by chance? I mean, I'm just, I don't know that we can restrict that or whatever, but I'm just curious if that's what their plan would be immediately. That building, you could, I guess, potentially use it as a bandstand, um, given its location away from everything. And facing back towards the lodge, it might provide some additional sound buffering. Um, but again, I not an acoustical engineer who could say that. Um, I would imagine most events taking place here are going to be somewhere out on the lawn, perhaps out on the island. You know, if you were to put up a tent or gazebo for any type of event. Um, but this is the main lawn facing south where I would imagine most of the activities would take place. Any other questions? We'll move on now.